I'm in the Hasegawa booth holding what is a very unexpected offering. Uh, Hasegawa has announced and is very close to release of a 16th scale Sopwith Camel. And uh, you can see here how, how big she is, which is actually, a, I think, a great size uh, for showing off what they've done here. This is, uh, the, the, the parts I'm holding here, there's been no painting at all, uh, but when they actually release the kit, they're telling me that the plastic is gonna be more of a, a wood-like beige color. But you can see it's all completely uh, inner detail. And check this out. It's kind of hard to see on the video, I think, but even the control cables are all present uh, going down the length of the fuselage. And are you ready for this, ladies and gentlemen? The control cables are connected to the control column and they actually work. See the, uh, the elevator going there as I move the control stick in the cockpit? In a plastic model, the controls work. Um, hats off to Hasegawa for that one. Uh, you can see in the, uh, the other parts of the booth, if it is painted in the, the more natural colors, it's really a beautiful piece. Uh, and frankly, when I first read on uh, the literature that we were going to get a kit like this, I wasn't so optimistic that we'd be able to sell very many. But now that I've actually seen the kit, seen it built up, and, and seen what it shows off and what it can do, I'm pretty excited about this thing. The Sopwith Camel, you know, of World War I aircraft is sort of a, a really classic uh, design with a lot of very attractive lines. It's kind of like, you know, Peanuts cartoons aside, it's sort of the quintessential, you know, shape of a World War I fighter aircraft. And, uh, and this baby, they've really nailed it. So here's hoping that uh, Hasegawa follows this camel up with maybe a Fokker D7 or a Newport or something else. Uh, but it looks like whether they have any more or not, they're off to a fantastic start. That's the Sop with Camel in 16th scale from Hasegawa. Here at the Hasegawa booth checking out uh, another one of their announcements. Now this has been announced before, but they've got a little bit more to show. No actual test shots here yet, uh, but they do have uh, a, a design layout of the sprue. This is the MV-22B Osprey, which is uh, quite a big topic here in Japan as the Osprey has been deployed to Okinawa. Um, and as we know, the Osprey has been controversial in its development. It's had uh, several crashes and things like that. Um, some not its fault, some its fault. Anyway, you can just check out all that on the internet, but we're happy just to see this in a nice, totally all new tooling kit in 172nd scale from Hasegawa. This is coming out in July, uh, so just a couple months from now. Again, totally new molds here. Uh, and checking it out, um, you can come down here later. It's got, uh, you can do the tilt rotor thing as the real thing is. The flaperons are moot positionable. You can choose how you want those. Um, so yeah, this is a, a, a very cool new kit of a very cool new aircraft, the MV-22B Osprey. Now moving down, some other aircraft. This is the Eurofighter Typhoon. Uh, now they've already released the single-seater version uh, a little while back, and this one is coming out when? I can never find that information when I need it. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, it's coming out soon. Uh, and um, the all new parts for this kit, you can see here, uh, the fuselage and some other parts to turn the single seat version into the two seater version. And again, I can't see when this is coming out, but limited edition and it'll be out soon. So the uh, Osprey and the new Eurofighter Typhoon two seater, both coming from Hasegawa. At the Hasegawa booth with a huge release uh, of the huge battleship Yamato. Now we've got in front of me here, uh, these are all the parts laid out. Now this is uh, in one 450th scale. Uh, we've seen Yamatos in one 350th, the one 700th, which is rather small, uh, one 200th scale, which is huge. Uh, so Hasegawa was thinking uh, for an all, this is an all new tooling, by the way. Uh, so there are several really good um, Yamato kits out there. So you know, why do we need another one? Well, here's Hasegawa's reasoning. It's one 450th scale, which is pretty darn big, uh, but it's not quite as big as one 350th and nowhere near as huge as the one 200th scale ones. Uh, the detail is excellent, but the parts count is low. Uh, they've molded a lot of things as, as single pieces. This turret here's got the guns molded on, although the barrels are hollow. So you've got a lot of excellent detail uh, without a lot of parts uh, in smaller, easier to handle sca uh, scale that'll fit on your shelves. And, and it's gonna be at a pretty good price too. And this is coming out uh, pretty soon. It's coming out in June. So we've got the parts, the sprues laid out here. And I'll take you over and, so and show you a built up version of the kit in a second. So here is a built-up version of the kit, and as you can see, the painted up and assembled, the detail is excellent. It looks beautiful. Again, it's not too huge. Here's my hands for comparison. Again, I have big hands, so I might not be able to tell really, but it's a, it's a good size here. What is this, about 40, 40 centimeters or so, 45? I'm sure it says, so. oh, well, it's 58. I was off. It's 58 centimeters long. 
plenty of space on your shelves for something that big. Uh, the detail is excellent, and I've just found out the price is also excellent. It's only 4,725 yen. Uh, actually, it's 4,500 yen without tax. Uh, we don't charge tax for our overseas customers. And right now, with the U.S. dollar being uh, right around 100, I think it's 102 today, so that's going to be like less than 45 bucks for a almost 60 centimeter long, highly detailed, and easy to assemble kit of, uh, you know, the, one, of one of the most famous battleships in the world, the Yamato. And now, so far, we've only had a Yamato announced, but wouldn't be uh, a, a leap of faith to expect a Musashi at some point in the future. Uh, but here we go, a one 450th scale kit of the Yamato for around $45 US. Isn't that amazing? And it's an amazing kit, so check it out. And here's a decal variation coming from Hasegawa of the 2002 Honda NSR 250. Uh, it's the same kit has been released before of the, of the, the Honda racing bike with the addition of these new decals uh, to make it the, the Team Spain's number one Honda Grissini. Grissini, yep. So this is coming out and again, win, 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 win never says but the new decals are from cartograph and this is coming out in july actually so that's kind of cool for you bike fans out there uh, i'm gonna move over here a little bit and this is a kit of the noshiro the japanese cruiser noshiro as it appeared at the battle of lady gulf uh, as you can see here this is a it's got some additional parts here and there'll also be some photo etched parts to make the very detailed model in 1 3 scale of the noshiro and this is also coming out in july so some bikes and a ship coming from Hasegawa.